Hey guys, welcome to Journey Youth. Uh, I'm BJ Williams, the pastor of Journey Lorena, and I'm so glad that you've come out today uh, to be a part of youth group. I hope you guys are keeping cool in the middle of this really hot weather. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at the book of Mark. We're going to be looking at the book of Mark, Mark chapter 3. We're going Mark 3. Not Mach 3, but Mark 3, because Mark goes through the Bible pretty quickly. And all the events in Jesus' life, he doesn't spend a whole lot of time on, but he hits them one after another as he tells the stories of what happened to Jesus. So today, we're going to be picking up with Mark chapter 3, because way back in May, uh, that's when we ended with Mark chapter 2. So we're jumping into Mark chapter 3 at this point. As we look at Mark chapter 3, I'm going to read to you Mark chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Then we'll talk a little bit about what's going on. It says in Mark chapter 3, Another time he went into the synagogue. The he is Jesus. A synagogue is the kind of church. Another time he went into the synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, uh, please stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save a life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts, said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. <laughs> so, what's going on here? What's happening? And what are we reading about? Well, we got Jesus, and Jesus was going along, and he goes into a temple on the Sabbath. Now, what day is the Sabbath? Well, we now celebrate and go to church on Sundays, but at that time... They went to church on Saturdays, and Saturday was considered the Sabbath. God worked on six days, and on the seventh day he rested, and so humans were supposed to work for six days, and on the Sabbath, seventh day, which was Saturday, they were supposed to rest. So, Jesus goes into the temple on the Saturday when they're worshiping God, and they're supposed to rest. Now, when Jesus comes in, they're looking around, at him in the church. And they're like, let's see if we can find something that he's doing that we can catch him and we can get him and say, look what evil he has done. Now, Jesus knows that they're looking for a way to, to get back at him or to be mean to him. So as Jesus is walking through, he sees a guy and the guy's hand is shriveled. Now, what does that mean? If the guy's hand is shriveled, it means he can't work. He can't make a living. If he can't make a living, he can't work. He can't get any money. He can't have a house. He doesn't really have a great way to have a life because his hand is all shriveled up. So Jesus is getting ready to heal him. And all of the others, the Pharisees and Sadducees are looking real close because they're thinking now, now we're going to get him. Because you couldn't heal on the Sabbath. You were supposed to rest. And he was going to say, they were going to say, you're breaking the Sabbath and we got gotcha. you. Jesus knew that that's what they were going to say. So Jesus looked at him and said, um, hey, guy with the shriveled hand, would you mind standing up? And the guy looked around and was like, well, sure. And he stood up. And when the guy with the shriveled hand stood up, Jesus announced, he says, ladies and gentlemen, everyone here, let me ask a question. On the Sabbath day, on the day of rest, is it okay to do good or is it okay to do evil? Is it okay to save someone or is it okay to kill them? And the people all opened their eyes and they thought, well, obviously it's okay to save, not to hurt, and to, to help to live and not to kill. Well, Jesus then looked at the Pharisees because, see, the Pharisees were doing evil on the Sabbath which is not good. I mean, obviously, because evil and good, they're different. So they were doing evil on the Sabbath day rather than good, and they were trying to find ways to kill Jesus, to kill rather than heal. So Jesus tells the man, stretch out your hand. And amazingly, his hand 
is healed. But as he does so, Jesus is angry. Now, some people will say, well, Jesus didn't get angry. Well, that's not true. Jesus did get angry. But what's Jesus angry about? He's angry because people were trying to keep other people were trying to keep him from helping other people. They were doing things to try to hurt and trap Jesus rather than doing things to try to help others. One of the things that we have to learn about in the Bible is that there are things that we're supposed to do and there are things we're not supposed to do. But we're not supposed to try to catch people doing the wrong thing and go, I got you. We're supposed to make sure we live our lives in such a way that we help other people, that we make other people's lives better, that we show love for other people. And in doing so, that we ask the Lord to help us to live in the way that he has called us to live. What does that mean? It means to follow his word. It means to read the Bible. It means to learn more about who Jesus is. And when we find out who Jesus is, we understand more about who God is. And so we are called to learn more about God Almighty through reading and studying who Jesus is and seeing that what pleased him is when people helped each other and showed them love. And what made Jesus angry is when people tried to use the law to hurt others. The law is there to tell us the best way to live, not how to hurt other people, but how to do things in the world around us in the best way possible. They went out and tried to plan on how to kill Jesus. The man went out with a shriveled hand, healed and excited. And Jesus went out and would pray with his disciples. And we'll read about that next week as well. Let's pray about that. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we ask you, Lord, that you will bless us and take care of us. That, Lord, you will help us to see the things that you've called us to do. And help us to find ways to help rather than hurt. We pray this in your name. Amen. Some things that you might want to talk about now would be asking each other, well, what ways can we help each other? How are things, what are things that we can do to make other people's lives better? And are there things that we need to make sure we're not doing to make sure that we're living for God? Have a great day. And I hope you've enjoyed the lesson.